the uh, inflation reduction tax that the Democrat, or the, I should say the Re Inflation Reduction Act uh, that the Democrats were proposing, yes, that was a Floridian slip there, um, is, a, uh, is a title that would make Orwell blush. I mean, if you think about what the Democrats are suggesting here, you know, we've had record 40-year high inflation, and, um, and we've got now two consecutive quarters of a negative economic growth, which, uh, however, it, uh, the administration wants to define it is a recession. Uh, and here they are talking about raising taxes, increasing spending, um, and uh, sticking it to the job creators in this country uh, when we're trying to deal with some economic challenges uh, for which those are the absolute wrong prescription. And if you look even now at the Penn Wharton model, which uh, some Democrats have kind of held out as the gold standard in the past, has suggested that it wouldn't have any positive impact on inflation in the long run, in fact, would increase it in the near term. Uh, and you look at what the Joint Economic Committee said in their analysis, which is that uh, lower income Americans, in other words, those under $100,000 a year, would bear a significant burden as a result of these tax hikes being, being imposed or being proposed uh, by the Democrats. Uh, in fact, uh, next year, 2023 alone, people under that income category would end up paying an additional $17 billion uh, as a result of the tax hikes that are being proposed by the Democrats. <laughs> so this is just yet another example uh, of an administration and leadership here in Congress that is totally um, out of touch with what the American people care about. And the American people have figured this out, and they understand that there is nothing to be gained for them by raising taxes on oil and gas production in this country. All that's going to do is increase their energy costs. You look at electricity costs, you look at gasoline costs, you look at food costs, none of that is going to be addressed or dealt with by big fat tax increases on companies in this country that create jobs, because we all know that's going to get passed on. And so um, this is a, uh, an opportunity by the Democrats for them to advance an agenda, which they've been trying to get at for a long time, uh, a green climate agenda that uh, massively increases spending uh, $60 billion on environmental justice, for them to, to, to define that later, and several billion dollars on uh, urban trees, um, and tax credits for rich people in this country if you want to buy an electric vehicle. If you're rich enough to buy an electric vehicle, an $80,000 vehicle, and you make up to $300,000 a year, you can get a tax credit to buy an EV. That is the sum total of this administration's energy policy is uh, more EVs and, uh, and specifically EVs for rich people. Um, those Americans, ordinary Americans, uh, working families in this country who are struggling to meet, make ends meet and putting more on their credit cards or dipping into their savings just to keep up with the extra $9,000 that it's going to cost this year over last, uh, that according to the Joint Economic Committee, uh, for the basic necessities of life. Uh, those people are going to be looking at this thing going, what's with these people in Washington, D.C.? We're going to do everything we can to stop this, to fight this, and to stand uh, with the American people in support of policies that will lower the cost, that lower inflation in this country and the cost of things that they need in their daily lives.